Hello everybody and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you have already been here before. Thank you so much for choosing to watch this video. Today I will be showing you my July and August empties that I've been going through in this year and these two months. It, I do have quite a few so I think this will take a little bit of time, take a cup of tea or something and uh, let's just dive into my trash. But first, if you are not following me, make sure to subscribe, it will help me out a lot and also it will make me know that you like what I am creating for content on this channel. But for the, without further ado, let's jump into my trash. So we have some bigger items and some smaller ones. This one is from Redken, this is uh, All Soft Shampoo, a big bottle of that one, 300 milliliters. I used this one up, it was really nice, it made my hair really soft. It smelled nice, it was kind of, this I got at my uh, uh, hairdresser's salon. She recommended this for my hair and it was really nice. It smelled like I was in a, at the hairdresser's every time I washed my hair, so that was really nice. But it took me a long time to finish that, it was a lot big one. We have from Nivea, this is gentle eye makeup remover for sensitive eye area. This is what that one looks like. This is 125 milliliters. I got this in the Nivea Advent Calendar 2020 and I used it up. It was really gentle. It was really nice. I enjoyed it a lot actually. And uh, spoiler alert, I do have a Nivea Advent Calendar this year as well. So I will be unboxing it at some point on this channel. If you want to see that, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that. But yeah, I'm hoping there is another one of these in there because I really enjoyed this one. We have some, what is this, Best Care uh, Dental Floss. The ones that were with a pick. Um, yeah, really nice. I used them up. Dental hygiene is important and I will be turning off the sound on my phone just in case. Yeah. Yes. Let's see, and the next thing we have here are two different, but both both from V. These are wax strips for face, so 20 wax strips for face in this one, and this one is easy gel wax strip, up to 28 days of... Uh, this is for normal skin, and this is for normal skin face as well. I don't know what the difference is aside from the packaging and the amount of... No, not even the amount. They have 20 each. I'm not sure what the difference is, but they both did the same thing. Removed the hair on my face and I enjoy them and I have repurchased them. Uh, really nice. Then we have the Pig Clear Blackhead Perfect Sticker from Holika Holika. Um, I sort of like these ones, sort of not. They do remove some gunk out of my nose, but not, not nearly enough uh, or what I want to. So it's a little bit of bittersweet and they do hurt a lot to remove from your nose. At least from my nose, they hurt a lot. We have a, what do we have? Bitchel and Peach English Growers Flora Number 1 Body Cream that I used up. Uh, this is what that one looks like. I have gotten this in, it's 100 milliliters and this I got in one of the advent calendars last year. Um, it was okay. Uh, the scent was not my favorite. It's extremely floral uh, and this would not sink into my skin. I, I was rubbing and rubbing and rubbing it onto my skin for about 10 minutes before it would finally sink in. It just left a white cast all over my skin and it would not go into my skin so I can't recommend this and I mean if I got it in another advent calendar I would probably use it again but it was a hassle to use I can't recommend this and it does smell really strong and floral so if that's something you don't like then this is not for you uh, next thing the body shop coconut body butter 
I love this. I love coconut. It's my favorite scent from the body shop. And I just love this. This is something that I purchased on my own. Really nice. Completely used up. Have no complaints. This is the smaller one, 50 milliliters. I do prefer the smaller ones so I don't get bored of the scent, so I can switch it out here and there. But coconut is one of my absolute favorite scents from the body shop. We have something from Yves Rocher. This is the um, Hammam Bath and Shower Gel with Argan and Rose. And it's just a little small one. Um, and I got this one in the Yves Rocher. Uh, advent calendar last year of 2020 and I used it up. It was nice. It smelled nice I do love these smaller size things because I do tend to get Kind of bored of the same scents and the same products over and over again. So I prefer much. I much prefer the smaller sizes uh, So yeah, that was really nice to use up. We have the Body Shop Drops of Youth Youth Concentrate this one is also from the advent calendar from the body shop last year. I got one of 2019 and I got one 2020 and I used up both of them this year and I really enjoy these ones. They are quite expensive if you would to purchase them on your own. Um, but they were really nice to use. I, I enjoyed them a lot. Uh, we have a toothpaste. This is Colgate Max White with white crystals. This is a big size, 125 milliliters. It was nice. It made my teeth feel clean. And yeah, that's all I pretty much asked for from my tooth uh, toothpaste. We have some samples. This is from Lancome. This is Advanced Genifique Youth Activating Concentrate. It was nice. I've used this sample previously it's okay nothing special but i used it up and another sample here this is from lumene and this is arctic dew quenching aqua serum for all skin types um, also nice a little foil packet like it was okay to use but you can't get a real sense of what it does for your skin with this little amount so it was okay, but nothing too special. We have from Lumene, this is Glory Real Moisturizer with Vitamin C. A little sample size cream. I think I got this. So it's completely empty. I think I got this in one of the advent calendars last year. I have purchased the Lumene uh, uh, advent calendar for the year of 2021, but I don't think I purchased one for 2020 So I think I got this in one of the advent calendars that was a mixture of different brands We have some hand creams. The first one is from L'Occitane uh, and this one is intensive hand, hand balm for very dry skin. It is a little 10 milliliter sample this is from the advent calendar from Lockington that I purchased last year, 2020. Used it up, it was really nice, really moisturizing. I enjoyed it very much and I do love these smaller samples. Then we have from Baobab Oil, a hand cream uh, with man in the scent mango and strawberry. The scent was amazing, I used it up. But as you can see on the top there, the actual cap broke off as I was twisting it to close it up. It just kind of... All of it just went off so I just kept it open and used up every last little bit that I could but the packaging was really sucky so I can't recommend this I do have another one of these I got them in a trio from my boyfriend and two of them are gone this one's the second one so I have another one of these it smelled amazing it was a really nice hand cream but because of the packaging it really it wasn't good so I can't recommend it for that reason and what we have left is makeup and a perfume. So I do have a big perfume that is finished. This is J'adore from Dior. Or the perfume, a big bottle of this one. I think it is 50 milliliters. No, it's 30. Either way, it's big. So this is an extremely florous, fl fl floral <laughs> scent. And 
it's kind of a grandma scent, but it, but if your grandma is kind of sexy, so it's kind of a sexy grandma scent. Um, I enjoyed it during the summer and springtime. I got this from my ex boyfriend, so it was it is kind of nice to have out of my collection together with those memories. But um, I enjoyed it, but I will not be purchasing this again. Um, the grandma scent, as much as it is a little bit on the sexier side, is still not my favorite type of scent. But it was nice and I'm so glad to have a full size perfume out of my collection. Then we have, I think, three lip glosses that I have used up, so that's really nice. We have one that I have used up, you've seen it in my Project Tempan, this is the NYX butter gloss in the shade creme brulee so that one is completely finished it was a nice shade uh, a little bit too light for my lips but still nice smelled kind of uh, vanilla sweet it was really nice we have the bare minerals marvelous moxie in the shade spark plug also completely used up this is also a mini one so this is kind of a plumping lip gloss um it smells also sweet and vanilla-ish and we have a little lip gloss here from h&m that i got in the advent calendar from h&m last year and this is the Number It was number one in the packaging uh, in the advent calendar, so it just says number one beauty countdown lip gloss. So it doesn't have a name, it was just the first item in the advent calendar last year. And this little thing is also completely empty, as you can see, and I'm really happy about that. That's three lip glosses out of my collection. I do count the minis as one item. And the last item in here is a mascara. This one is from Kaya and it is Bibs Boom Boom Lashes. Um, this is what that one looks like. Let's see if you can see it. So it wasn't my favorite mascara. The eyelashes that Bianca Ingrosso, uh, the celebrity influencer person behind this brand, the lashes she gets with this are not even close to what I get with this, so uh, it wasn't my favorite, but I did use it for the majority of the year. It was nice while I used it. Uh, not as advertised, I wouldn't say, but that could be also the my lashes, due to my lashes not being as long as hers are already, but either way, I used it up. It was okay, nothing too special, and it is quite expensive, so I can't recommend it because it is too expensive for what it did for my eyelashes. And that was it for this these empties. Um, if you like this video, make sure to like it down below as well. Make sure to subscribe if you already haven't. I would love to have you here more often, and I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye!